What's up guys, how's it going? It's John, and this is a really cool product I wanna share with you guys. I just got this in the mail recently. Uh, this is by New Wave Toys. It's a centipede arcade, but check this out. It's one sixth scale. So it's actually about 12 inches tall. It's about 11.8 inches tall. I think it's fairly lightweight, it's fully functional, which is crazy. And it plays great. So I'm gonna show you how it kind of works. Check out the attention detail. It's retail, they did a Kickstarter. It retailed for $90 through the Kickstarter. On their websites, it's 160, so it's significantly more money on their website. Although I believe for the first week or so, they've been doing a promotion of 10% off, uh, which brings it down to about 144 with free shipping, domestic shipping. So that's kind of cool. But I paid uh, 144 for it when I got it. And you can check out the detail on the side art here. It's cool centipede, classic game for sure by Atari. Officially licensed product. It is charged by lithium battery. I'm not sure how long that battery lasts. To be honest with you, there's volume on the top here. And let's see if I can, see if you can hear it. Hold on one second. So you can hear that, right? Pretty cool. Let me turn the volume down here. And there's a light here on the top that shows you if it's charging or if it needs to be charged. So it's red if it's charging the screen when it's fully charged. Uh, this actually box here op opens up like so. And you can kind of put things in here so you can put the cord here. It comes with a cord. I usually store that cord here and this closes up. This button here is operations. I'll show you kind of more closer look at the gameplay and, and kind of the, the menu screen, how that works here in a second. Very cool item. And here's the collector's box. Very, very cool. Cool side. Now they've announced, also they're doing a Tempest one, also by Atari. And they also announced Street Fighter 2 by Capcom. That's gonna be a two player one. There's actually a separate control panel. You can play two player on that. That's really cool. And they have a whole bunch of shadows of other future ones coming out. Uh, I was kind of curious, what, what arcades would you guys like to see? What classic ones would, would you guys like to see? I'd love to see Star Wars, Atari, although I don't think that ever happened with, with the Star Wars uh, rights and all that good stuff. It'd be very hard to get the, the rights to do that. I'd also love to see Tapper, which is a classic Midway game. I love the classic arcade with the bar, you know, bar taps and all that good stuff. Great game. Uh, Donkey Kong would be really cool. Anything Nintendo would be sweet. Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man would be awesome. Um, I don't know, there's, there's so many that they could do. I know they have about a dozen or so they're planning on releasing. So this sort of came out, the other one uh, is coming out, The Tempest is coming out in November this year, a month from filming this video. And then I'm not sure when Street Fighter 2 is coming out, either before Christmas or possibly early next year. Um, so I just wanna share this with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let's check out, take a closer look at it. And you know, I'm a huge fan of these rescaling. I mean, take a look at these, I collect these as well. These are like classic picture Star Wars figures that are done on a 12 inch scale. So in that case, they've blown them up to be a 12 inch. And that's done by Gentle Giant. Um, huge Star Wars fan. I've got a Star Wars channel, Star Wars Nut 77 here on YouTube. And I've done some reviews on those as well. But I'm really cool that people kind of rescale things. Um, I think it's a really cool idea. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think and let's take a closer look. Thanks for watching. So here's a closer look at the arcade itself. It does come with an instruction manual. It's in multiple languages. And uh, it kind of shows you how to hook it up. All the different buttons, all the connections. Pretty easy. Um, it's in quite a few different languages. These are available at newwavetoys.com. And you can also pick these up on Amazon, sites like that. I'm not paid to review this product. They don't know I'm reviewing this. So I just picked this product up myself. Thought it was really cool. I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, and uh, here's the control panel. It's got the rollerball, and here's the action button here. You got one or two player, and then you can go option menu by hitting this second uh, second button here, key, second uh, coin button there. And you can see there's uh, brightness. You can adjust the brightness. You can also turn you can also turn the marquee off. I'm not quite sure why you'd want to do that. Keep it on. It looks really cool. I think. Maybe to save battery life. And you can do uh, trackball sensitivity right now. It's on low. Turn it to, to medium. So let's go and start the game. Uh, once you coin up, the object of the centipede is to obviously shoot the centipede. But you can control your thumb. Actually, it controls really well. Let me turn down a little bit. Oh, wasn't paying attention. What's nice is it does keep your high score. So you can see I have a high score, previous high score in here. It does keep that, so that is a nice feature. Even if it recharges, it does keep it. Again, I don't know how long the battery life, life lasts on this thing. I'm just holding down the button here. But surprisingly, it works surprisingly really well. I'm playing through my camera, so it's a little tricky. This progressively gets more difficult. 
Anyway, uh, that's my review over this mini Centipede 1.6 scale by New Wave Toys. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. Leave it in a comment. It means a lot. You guys subscribing. Thanks for staying subscribed. That's awesome. I will see you guys soon. Take care. And of course, game on.